Hey guys, and welcome back. When we left off, we found out about another person who could be a well deserved helping hand in this case. And yeah, it turns out they're a mental patient and they're in a mental asylum. Ain't great. We kind of had to wander through this like creepy and spooky ass area back there that was closed off. For what reasons, I don't know why. Probably not great reasons. Probably some effed up stuff happened down there. To be honest, I don't want to know about it. Let's just move on, to be honest. Not interested in that. <laughs> Another stray jacket, though. <laughs> Keep collecting these. We need to know what happened in that story. Hey, Ronan. Yeah. Did you forget about me? No, I had to take a diversion through a scary-ass part of the flipping closed-off part of the asylum. What's around here? Nothing. Just some ghost residue. Now, let's go through here. There you go. There's a camera. I'll turn that off for you. Now, come on. We're nearly there. Can't stop now. We're one room away, apparently. Okay, there's another door. I'll help you, don't worry. Boom, there you go. Really? One corridor for one patient? Hmm. It's a bit strange. Okay, there's the room. We're finally here. You're gonna be so safe. Everything is gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Everything will be okay. I'm not gonna let anyone Damn. anyone touch you. I'm only over worried about shock treatment, but she's already a lost cause. Don't call her that to touch you. Alright, fine. You go see what our comatose witness has to offer. She probably doesn't want light flashed in her face, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm here to help you. Don't kill my sister. Whoa. Can we leave, please? Yeah, well, what's that creepy one with no eye mean in the background? Whoa, don't do that, please. Wait, 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 contracts. She still knows, she still knows. I'm going to assume that was a massive peak in audio there. Because <laughs> these, like, re pre rendered scenes are so goddamn loud. Kid. Maybe we didn't need you after all. <laughs> she's just like, just let me out of here. <laughs> like, please, just let me go. Is that actually what she's doing? Because it looks like she might be. Are we trapped in here? Hey, look, I'm not trapped in here. How'd you feel? There you go. You can leave. <laughs> I don't think that was meant to happen. She kind of just stopped the door from opening then, but you know. Okay, so you. What's up? Okay, you don't want me to what possess you? She booted me out somehow. Alright. Let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. Determine what Iris knows about the bell killer. Okay, let's inspect a bed first. Because obviously that's going to tell us something. Flipped. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, just a tad. Could you not tell from what just happened, Ronan? Crayons. Art therapy. Why would the asylum have crayons? It's a part of therapy somehow. Yeah, it probably is. It wouldn't surprise me. But like, she likes to draw. Just let her do it. What the hell is that? Did she, like, burn or something? Because that's definitely something to do with the bell killer, isn't it? Did he, like, tar up and burn someone? Burn at the stake, yeah. Bell. Obviously, it's not a hat. <laughs> what the hell is up with this killer? This relates to the bell killer murder, where he burns someone at the stake. I'm not gonna lie, this bell killer is messed up. Looks like... I'm more than certain this is the modern day setting, and this guy's going all like medieval and stuff on people. Or Victorian. Yeah, Victorian's more accurate, not medieval. What are these things for? Like art therapy or something? Do no. Blue. Blue eyes. Cold as death. Okay, she's referring to the killer. The killer, man, you already know death. this. What does that mean? Blue eyes. Oh my god. Wolf eyes. Blue stare. 
Ronan, I thought you'd be able to figure this out, but they belong to the killer. Yeah, by someone with blue eyes. Oh my god, Ronan, do you not remember that? Clues about suspects and stuff. Ah. <sighs> Sometimes, Ronan. So I had, um, troubled. Okay. It's pretty obvious. Deranged. Iris must suspect her inner demons with these drawings. Sounds about right. Is there any more clues? There's three more. What about this one here? What does this one mean? Next. Um, two girls. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Linked. Yes. Okay, so there's two of them. Does she have a sister? Yeah. <laughs> Iris has a twin sister. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> to be fair, that was the same conclusion I came to as well, though, to be fair. Can't blame him. Hey. I think we're kind of obvious. Nah, nobody knows. I mean, we're just talking here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's more to it. <laughs> Their faces, man. Well, the emotions. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what about the toilet? What does the toilet mean? What does this mean? Um... Hmm, I don't know. I get it's either tormented or treating because she's being like pinned down while the kid tormented. Boom. Retreat nope. Okay, chase then I guess. Yeah, but look, it looks like she's retreating because she's about to be whacked. So yeah. Okay, so chased. Definitely not safe. Safe is not the word I would use to describe that. Conclude investigation, I guess. So were they both burned, or obviously not? Is this her twin sister must have been burned then? And obviously she was mentally scarred by it or something. Game kind of run. crap the bed there. Go. Not gonna lie, this game has some serious performance issues. The frames not great at the moment. Jesus. I'm so sorry. Rose saved Iris's life, but paid with her own. Bell killers going after young girls. But what was it? What would you see? Oh, the poor kid. Her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched, but she couldn't return the favor. She's not happy with you. <laughs> that was a bit of a outburst, son. Are you okay? Clearly not. Oh. Oh, what? No, let's leave. She has flames. She was possessed. I told you to stay back. Can we leave, please? This and the flame, <laughs> and the flames, the frames together aren't great. In this place. Orderlies. Crap! I'm so dead. All right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her! Help her! Come on, she's coming with us. No, you're not taking her. Look. You want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. Are we gonna have to fight you? I'll do it. I'm down. Oh, thanks. Thanks for your cooperation, I guess. Yeah, there's something wrong with that pre-rendered scene because that was making the game crap the bed in terms of performance. Not that it already doesn't do that, but <laughs> it made it happen even worse on a major level. And it is still currently doing it, apparently. Don't know what happened there, but... 
Another news article, great. <laughs> now what happened what happened to the like the demon or whatever it was possessing her? Like, did it just dip? And leave? I don't know. Hey, you should probably check out this walkie talkie. I think there's something wrong with it. He's like, huh? Hello? Um, now, how, how come I can't possess this? There we go. Poltergeist possess. Same thing. They're really not, but... Guys? You need to go. Quickly, before he turns around, I'll distract him. What are you thinking about? I'll get used to the staring eyes. Yeah, probably not. Just don't stare over there, okay? Keep your eyes fixated on that walkie-talkie. There's my man. <laughs> Creepy little 2D people. I don't like it. It's not cool. I send it to the town. Let's get the hell out of this place. Over here. In those shadows there. Coast is clear. <sighs> Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. thought I would never see this again. All right. So what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demons? <laughs> nothing to him. He had no reason to go after us the way he did. The way he did, he drowns one girl and burns another. And where have I seen that steak before? Oh, you're gonna ask me to remember where you've seen that goddamn steak? Oh my god. Ah, uh, I don't know. A lot has happened. Um, not there. Probably not there. May actually, it could be, or it could be that, or it, killer's weapons. No, that's definitely not it. Book about ghosts in different realms. We're bound and tied up. Probably not. Come on, there's got to be something about a stake somewhere. Um, no. Link between murders. No. This. I don't see a stake there. Like, oh, I don't even know. I'm going to go with this. No, simple similarity pattern within the victims. Or that killer's weapon that kind of makes sense, but I don't think it's it. Nope, didn't fix up. Think of a clue with the image of a steak. No, I don't see a steak. That's not a steak. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's not a steak. That's not a steak. That's fire. Actually, yeah, that is a. St is it? Really? Is that a steak? I thought it looked like an outside bathtub or something. Look, look, get Iris to the church. Make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later. Go. God damn dog. God damn it. He needs to be quiet. Let's just pretend he's in the game. There's a dog in the distance. Now, what the hell does a museum gala have to do with Rose's murder? Hmm. I thought you knew the answer to that. <laughs> Apparently you didn't. But yeah, okay. I cannot. I can't move around. <laughs> okay. Investigate the gallows for links to the bell killer. Interesting. Examined. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna let me tap at that now. You're just gonna take me there. It's appreciated, I guess. Did you really have to show? Him? <sighs> they didn't have to show like him leaving, did they? Let's be honest. Oh my God, the dog is still barking. If you just can't hear that, then I probably sound crazy right now, and I probably belong in that mental asylum. <gasps> But I'm telling you now, he is barking, and he won't stop. Probably because there's no one to stop him but me. So I might be the only person in the house. I don't know. We're going to stop the episode anyway. Ah, Lux Eternia. So it's the name of the hospital. I thought the person's name was Lux Eternia for a second. But no. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm kind of going crazy. Maybe it's because I was hanging around in there for too long. No, it's probably not. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to stop the episode here. But as always, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll uh, see you later.